Beginning in just a minute, folks. Going over some last minute notes real quick. All right. Welcome to Spy Kids Ranked. I'm your host, Y2K Paul, and this is the show where each week we go through and we rank the Spy Kids movies one to three. Now, quick recap of last week. We'll start off with that. We have Spy Kids 2 coming in at number one. I believe Spy Kids 3 came in at number two. And at number three, we had Spy Kids and or Spy Kids 1. Um, I'm sure everybody listening at home, there will be a few curveballs this episode and a few fan favorites that you'll be familiar with. Uh, let's get right into it. I don't want to waste anybody's time and start off with number one. We have Spy Kids 2. Now, this comes as no surprise to everybody at home. Uh, Spy Kids 2 is a personal favorite of mine, as I'm sure it is for everybody else out there. Specifically for the scene with the mad scientist and the little tiny monsters. I believe there was a spider monkey, which was a monkey and a spider, as well as a pig that had wings and would fly in the sky. I found all of these ideas to be very fun and creative, and growing up, I would have loved to have my own set of miniature little crazy animals running around and flying around in my room. Uh, Moving on, we have at number two on our list... Spy Kids 3. Now, I wasn't too sure about this one at first, but I had to remember what I loved about Spy Kids 3 the most, and that was the cool armor and the cars. The little motorcycle things that they would ride around in the racetrack. Uh, I believe there was also a scene where there was maybe a robot battle. Uh, I'm not sure. It has been years since I've seen Spy Kids 3. Um, But still, it is... Number two on our list, due to its very cool armor and racing tracks. All right. Now, at number three, last, but certainly the scariest on our list, Spy Kids or Spy Kids 1, at number three. Now, Spy Kids 1, it's a very scary movie. I'm sure I speak for everybody when I say that. The thumb, finger type henchmen or monsters were very, very terrifying and scary. I mean, personally, I've not been able to watch all of Spy Kids 1. Uh, As soon as they come on the screen, I've either had to hide under the covers, uh, call my mother, close my eyes. But now as an adult, I simply just turn off the TV when I see fit. So I have not seen all of Spy Kids. One is way too scary. I'm not sure anybody has been brave enough to keep watching once the thumb people come on the screen. Uh, If you are, please leave a comment in the comment section and let me know how you're able to do it. All right. Wrapping up this week's episode, we'll do a little recap of what happened. We have at number one, Spy Kids 2. At number two, we have Spy Kids 3, and coming in, Spy Kids or Spy Kids 1 at number three on our list. All right. Be sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Likes and subscriptions are how we keep the ball rolling here at Spy Kids Ranked. We rely on you and your patronage, and if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to come up here each and every week and rank the Spy Kids movies one through three. Um... Be sure to tune in next week where we'll have a new ranking available, maybe. And leave a comment there. Subscribe, all that good stuff. This is Y2K Paul, signing off.